You got Springer, you got Bregman. We know Altuve at the moment is is injured. But if they're going to get back to the World Series, right? Who's the most important Astro player that has to be on their game? That's a great question. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, I think Justin Verlander has to stay healthy and continue to perform at the high level that he's been. He has to be the ace. He has to take pressure off them. He has to go deep into the ball games, yep. even if they get into the postseason. He still has to be that electric guy when they won the championship. I also like Alex Bregman in that lineup, Switch. I oh, really God. think he not? protects he, he protects Springer. He gets everything going. He hits for power and average out of the two spot. He defends, and he wears the black hat for that organization. He talks trash. You know what? He's the Instagram all-star as well. Yep. He's on the cover of video games and magazines, and he walks the walk. So I think he takes a lot of pressure off the rest of the cast and lets them play loose and freely and have success. Well, it's amazing, man. You look at the just the entire lineup. I mean, who, 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 they got so many people on that team, but I think one guy for me that they need that I think is one of the most underrated moves this offseason has been an ex-teammate of mine, Dr. Smooth, Michael Brantley, man. Absolutely. He has really? been absolutely unbelievable for this squad, not only leading the league in hits, but leading the league in batting average as well. I mean, what more could you want for a guy? He is the consummate pro. I had the chance to be around him for four years, and this guy shows up to the ballpark each and every day, does what you want your star players to do, and he goes out and produces year after year. Just keep him healthy. 100%. <laughs> we hear about the injury bug with yeah. him as well, yeah. and hopefully he can keep it going. So I'm telling you, he's in their three-hole right yeah. now, right yeah. now, yeah. protecting your boy Bregman, mm -hmm. right? Correa's doing a great job protecting him. They've got that left-right, you know, mismatch in the mm -hmm. middle of their lineup, and these guys are hitting for power as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the best lineup in all of baseball. And Verlander, uh, the ex-Tiger, pitching in Detroit for Houston tomorrow. You're at the start of the year, odds makers, you hate to discuss this, it's uneasy, but then which manager is going to go first. Dave Martinez was right up there. I know there's some talk about Mickey right. Calloway, but given the way things are with the Nationals and the buzz is is out there, is uh, how, how long does Martinez last? And could this series ultimately decide his fate before we get to the end of the week? Uh, it, it, it seems the energy, it seems day by day. And I hate to say that, and that's tough to play and manage under that type of distress, but it's feeling like and looking yeah. like it's on the end of the road. They don't really look inspired. They're playing bad baseball. The bullpen has been a struggle for the last last three years. I mean, I feel like it's been a problem for a long time. And it's not only, you know, Martinez's fault. He never seemed to really fit into that system and make a system for himself. It's also Rizzo's fault, too. He's responsible for putting together that bullpen. He's responsible for putting together that team and that staff. They've had four different managers since 2012. That's unacceptable, and that's a lot of tension, a lot of different thought processes, and it's yeah. tough to be successful even if you have a playoff-caliber team to do that. What was, the la what was the last best manager they had in D.C.? Dusty Baker. They should have never got away from Dusty Baker. I'm you what, I think man. that's a grave mistake. I think they're kicking themselves. They don't want to come out and say, but Dusty Baker is a Hall of Fame type manager, and they respected him in that locker room. And he was the one guy that could reel in Bryce Harper you know, in that situation over there. So I think it's a mistake. I said it was a mistake, and you see what's going on. They've been underachieving ever since he's left. Yeah, yeah but, well, as awesome as, as Dave Martinez is, there, there are a lot of things that he's, you know, kind of learning struggles. Learning on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Tr struggles with as well. Obviously, when you're put into that role of being the leader of an organization, there are a lot of things that come along with that. There are a lot of question marks that popped up last year as well. This is no surprise. You knew what you were getting into coming into the season. Obviously, you lose Bryce Harper. That was a huge yeah. loss for you moving forward. I think they maybe need a little identity change. I don't think they exactly yeah. know who they are right now. You still have studs like Max Scherzer and Steven Strasburg. Rondon, yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? You, you added Corbin. Great players, I, I thought your but, pitching, their pitching is yeah. good enough. They should not have this kind of record uh, absolutely. with the pitching they have. But they're just not inspired. It's like they're letting anyone come in there and beat up on them in their home ground. Even mm -hmm. when they went to the playoffs, they still defended their home ground very well. Right, right now, that's a struggle. It sends volumes right now. Now, I mean, and I don't like calling for anybody's yeah. job because yeah. I've struggled before. Yeah. Used all, yeah. before. It's not but easy. It, it's not easy at all. I don't want those problems. That's why I'm sitting here. But uh, it, it's not looking good yeah. for Martinez right yeah. now over yeah. there. Tough loss tonight after they split that series with, with the Dodgers, which was impressive.